Hello there and welcome to another live chapter reading for Ipsy Bitsy Book Bits. Today I shall be reading from How to Make a Flying Carpet by Lois Wickstrom. Today the plastic frog clattered to the floor. It used to be a refrigerator magnet. The magnet is okay. I'll throw the broken green trunks in the trash. The magnet must be good for something else. I'm Alex, the inventor. I can always figure out something fun to do with old stuff. I'm going to invent something great. The magnet likes to stick to metal. Dad's house key fell down the heat vent yesterday. It's too far down to grab with his fingers. Maybe my magnet can rescue it. I tie a string to my magnet and lower it down the vent. I hear it bump the key, but the key doesn't stick. I guess the magnet only likes some metal things. I loop sticky tape around the magnet, glue it side out and lower it down the vent again. This time the key sticks to the tape. The key comes up, but the magnet didn't do it. I want the magnet to do something special. I hold my magnet over my desk drawer. A paper clip jumps up to meet it. That's fun. My magnet makes paper clips jump. A paper clip jumper, that's an invention. But I want to invent something better. I decide to tease the paper clip. I tie one end of my string to the paper clip and the other end to my chair. I let the paper clip jump up to the magnet. I lift the paper clip so the string is straight. Then I pull the magnet away from the paper clip just a short distance, about the width of my finger. The paper clip strains in the air. It can't reach the magnet and it can't fall. It just floats in the middle of the air like magic. That's fun, a paper clip teaser still want to invent something better. Something good might be hiding under the refrigerator. Clunk. My magnet found another magnet. I tried to put the magnets on top of each other, but the magnets push each other away. This might be a good trick for the strong man or woman at a miniature circus, but I want something better. Then one of the magnets flips in the air and clack. The magnets are sticking to each other. It seems that magnets can do two things. They can click together and they can push each other away. This gives me an idea for a wonderful invention. I can make a flying carpet. One magnet can float on top of the other while they push against each other. I put one magnet on the table and hold the other over it so they can push away. My hand wiggles. The magnet on the table jumps and flips. It sticks to the one I was holding, right through my finger. I'm going to have to keep them apart if I want to ride on my flying carpet. I put a pencil through the holes in both magnets while they push away from each other. The bottom magnet sits on my fingers and pushes the top one into the air. The top magnet is floating. The pencil stays in the middle to keep the magnets from jumping and flipping. Flying carpets float. They also need to go places. Maybe if I had a row of magnets. Then my floating magnet could cruise over all of them like a road. I go to the garage and get a box of magnets off the workbench. I put six magnets on the workbench. The magnets jump up, spin, and then clatter against each other. The row is now a jumble of magnets. I get a piece of styrofoam from the workbench and poke toothpicks in the holes of all six magnets to make them stay put. I start to fly one magnet on my pencil over them. It jumps off the end. It flips. It crashes. Seven is too many magnets. The top magnet flew better when I had only two magnets on one pencil. I need to put the bottom magnet on wheels. I get my toy truck. It has wheels so it can move. And it is metal, but the magnet won't stick to it. The label on the truck says aluminium. That's another metal my magnet doesn't like. The bottom magnet stays where I put it, on the truck bed anyway. I tape two wooden blocks to the end of the truck bed. Then I tape the piece of clothesline between the blocks. I pinch a clothespin over the clothesline to hold the pencil upright. I give the truck a shove, it zooms across the room. The top magnet looks like it's flying. That's a fun ride. I don't have enough magnets to cover a carpet, 
but this box has enough for my snow saucer. For that, I need a really, really big magnet. The earth is the magnet. Tomorrow I'll put my magnets on the bottom of my snow saucer and harness the earth's magnetic field. I'll add a sail for steering. I won't have a flying carpet. I'll invent a flying saucer instead. Thank you much, very much for listening to this chapter reading. I hope you enjoyed it and that you'll go check out the book. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.